Mrs. Miller, read this. Okay, I'm on Here. a break right now. Just I'm... read it. Trust me. Okay. We want you to read this out loud so that we can play this at our school assembly next week. Oh, I, I, I look, look I know, I know, thi- the... look, I know things are tough right now. If you read that out loud, you'll understand. Dear Mrs. Miller, Sorry for your loss. The loss of your beloved husband is undoubtedly a profound and challenging experience. I want you to know that our thoughts are with you. Your husband was a wonderful and good man. Between you and your husband, Jonathan, We could not ask for better directors for our after-school program. You both are amazing teachers, and we want to express our sincere appreciation for the years of dedicated service you have as a teacher at our school. Jonathan was an amazing teacher at this school, too. Your impact was beyond the classroom, and so does his. You both created environments of warmth and camaraderie for both students and staff. It was obvious that Jonathan cared about the students to the point where to the point where you both created an amazing after-school program that allowed children to stay as late as possible so their parents could work fully and be safe. Yeah. Look, Mrs. Miller. Our after-school programs would not be where they are today if it weren't for the impact that you and Jonathan had on our children. It was all him. I just followed in his footsteps. I did whatever he wanted me. If it was all him, then why do you still continue to stay late hours and work? I mean, if anything, you work the same hours that you will put in during school, after school hours. Why do you work so hard? For him. To keep his memory going. And for the kids. All the kids love him. Well, look. I'm here today to let you know that I see you. Your voice has been heard. And I'm just excited to be the one that gets to let you know that everybody supports you. Okay? Your mission to create a safe after-school program for all of our students that is accessible to all parents from all different income brackets. Mrs. Miller, the students wanted to give you this. You can look inside. the best teacher not just in the classroom no that was Jonathan the way he taught math he made math make sense <laughs> and that's saying something my my strengths were more in history and English but I teach you know I don't really like second grade but you teaching our students valuable life skills like staying away from that part God awful park. <laughs> Our students, the last thing any of us want is for them to venture out to that park. No, that's why we need a jungle gym. I, I, I'm trying no. to be respectful, sorry. I apologize. No. Miss Miller, everybody's on board. And since Jonathan's passing, 
everybody in the community has come together to let you know that we all feel the same way. What do you mean? I'm just the messenger, but I went to the school board okay. this past weekend. Oh, good for you. And oh. on behalf of you, me and Mr. Lushevitz here, Vice Principal oh my. Lushevitz, we both came together, and Mr. Lushevitz. We were able to get something approved. Um, you know, I don't want to get her hopes up, but, you know, with everything going on, and we're able to, you know, have proof that we should have this and everything school board fully agreed and we were able to get funded for a little bit over ten thousand dollars okay. that's amazing everything is here we're going to be able to get funded for every single thing every jungle gym okay and it's going to be safer with the tetherball cart <laughs> It's just a hole for the mall.